Hello children. Do you believe in God? I do. And he can be very scary. Have you ever seen a horror film? I have. I've seen a few. Like Event Horizon, which is terrifying. Absolutely terrifying, especially in its uh, first mode of performance in the 90s. It was like a vision into a sci-fi hell. Have you heard of Hell Kids? I went there for 10 hours once in a state of mind. It was a state of mind, not a particular physical place. But it was suffering and pain and agony and horror, the likes of which I have never known. Never known in my entire life, either subsequently or before. And the thing is, gentlemen and kids and ladies, there is a God. That's what I learned that day. I learned the general beige wall piece of everyday bog standard human conscience is like a miracle of heavenly holiness even upon this earth compared to true sufferance in the hell pits of a satanic methodology. Do you love God, children? I do. He believes in love. And if you don't love him, you will burn in hell. And if you lie, you will burn in hell. And if you're sexually misadventurous and wicked, you will burn in hell. And if you follow false concepts of the deity of the Son of God, Jesus Christ, and false prophets, you too, come the apocalypse, you've guessed it, you'll be burning forever. <laughs> Isn't it great? You see, God protects his believers. And everyone who's read the Bible knows just how frightening this book is to believers and unbelievers alike. Let me give you an example, kids. In the true apocalypse, which we might be starting to emerge into now, but we're certainly not through, the rise of Satan's man kills pretty much everyone on the planet. Not at the same time, the Christians are the first to be martyred. So that means people like you and me, who believe in Jesus Christ and love God, <coughs> our heads get cut off, but we don't go to hell. The people who go to hell are the ones who stare around and get something on their right hand or their forehead which allows them to trade. Current thinking is that it might be a QR code when some psycho in charge called a megalomaniac decides to imprint this barbaric concept of slavery mentally onto the people of the world in place of God and his natural authentic atmosphere of holy creation. And all those people who get the mark of the beast will go to hell. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? Very scary. As a Christian, I'd have been de decapitated because I'm not getting that. But millions will, and they will all die and burn. Forever. It's in the Bible. If you don't believe me, look it up. Chapter 13, Revelation. And that's the prophecy, my friends. And let me tell you now, you don't want to be a loser. You don't want to be an atheist. They're all going to burn. You don't want to be a HS, bit racy around the nethers of other men. They all burn. Alright? So just be good, be loving, be humble, and be wise. And if you can't be humble, be like me, enlightened with a true crown of light by God, for being ace and not disgusting. <coughs> That's me going to come judgment day. But I go to paradise in the future. Wicked.